A survival guide for humanity. That's how the head of the United Nations has described a major climate change report urging world leaders to take swift and drastic action to save the planet. The report's authors say the world is already going to miss the ambitious target of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. We'll likely hit that within a decade. And they say there's now a rapidly closing window of opportunity to secure a livable and sustainable future. But there is some hope. They say dramatic changes can be achieved rapidly by cutting carbon pollution and fossil fuel use and adopting clean energy and technology. Here's political reporter Amelia Waite. Little people asking the big questions. Not just the naughty things. What's the favourite type of thing to talk about? They have a much bigger question. What are you going to do about climate change? What am I going to do about climate change? That's a really good question. It is a really, really good question because the warning from hundreds of scientists today could not be more urgent. The climate time bomb is ticking. The world is not doing enough. Humanity is on thin ice and that ice is melting fast. If humanity continues on its current path, when these inquisitive children are 80, the world will be three degrees warmer and that would be catastrophic. Will your government take radical action? What I've indicated uh, since I became Prime Minister is that my focus is obviously on reducing New Zealand's greenhouse gas emissions. New Zealand's biggest source of global heating gases is the, the dairy industry, which produces superheating methane and nitrous oxide emissions, which are cooking the climate faster than carbon dioxide. This is a global issue. Um, it's not a New Zealand-specific issue. And New Zealand farmers are the most efficient um, in a number of areas. The dairy industry, vital to producing the PM's pie of choice. Can I grab a steak and cheese pie, please? Yes, yeah, sir. Right. Decisions on their plan to bite into their emissions were due early this year, but News Hub understands it's been delayed. Have they been bread and buttered under your Prime Ministership? Well, it is a bread and butter issue, in my view. The plan to price farm emissions was worked on by the Climate Change Minister. He says it's no longer worth the paper it's written on, and it's crunch time. The next government uh, will be in office for the three years in which those really critical decisions to dramatically cut emissions uh, will have to take place. The biggest thing that I think we can do is to accelerate our embracing of renewable electricity. You know, tackling climate change has a major impact on our way of life and on the way we live, uh, and so we are continuing to focus on it. It's also a focus for the next generation, whose future depends on it. Oh, kia ora, Amelia. So why has the plan to price emissions been delayed? A combination of the floods, the cyclone and a change in Prime Ministership. But News Up understands that a decision will be coming in the next month or so. But with neither major party able to clearly articulate their plan to, clap it, uh, to tackle climate change, the heavy lifting falls to the Greens. And their plan is to tackle the frustrated Labour voters. But those voters don't like it when the Greens get angry. So that's why they have been uh, more measured and haven't been tossing their toys as much as some activists might like. Like. So even in the party where climate change matters the most, it has been fallen victim to the pursuit of power. Amelia, thanks so much.